Welcome to the Data Future channel. Uh, this is Shaker and I am a data scientist. So in this particular tutorial, we are going to build a machine learning model which can classify the uh, image. Okay, so we are we are building a image classifier and here we are going to use the algorithm uh, basically uh, a classification algorithm we are going to use that is the support vector machine okay so let's get started so um, uh, before starting that I want to show you uh, my data so uh, I'm having uh, my data in this particular folder here so you uh, if you can check uh, this is the folder where I have stored uh, the data of image classifications here and there are two uh, folders one is the empty and non empty these two folders okay so in that you can check uh, there are images of the empty spaces there so basically our what our model uh, will tell you whether that space is whether this photograph is empty uh, the parking slot is empty or not okay uh, so uh, basically these are the empty uh, images and non empty images uh, i'll show you one of these so this is this is the car which is parked in the parking slot so basically our model will uh, the predict whether uh, whether uh, there is a car in the parking lot or not based on the images we are supplying right so let's get started so initially uh, we have to import the required libraries already we know that we are importing these libraries uh, pandas numpy matplotlib and um, uh, in uh, again addition to that we have to import the os then uh, s sk image dot io import embrid so basically to read the images uh, and sk image dot transform import the resize so we have to convert the images into a vectors or the matrix so that we can manipulate that data right so let me run this cell so we have imported all these required dependencies or the libraries here so yes now uh, this cell is ready now I want to show you one uh, image here so my my path is I have given this path of the image which is not empty actually and uh, i'm selecting this figure size and plt dot i am show and m read i have to use m i am read and image one so when you run this uh, what you can see uh, so this this image is blur actually because of the the size so you can see there is a car in the parking slot you can see right so this is the image right now the next thing is we have to convert that image into a matrix and for that i am using this i am read okay and here i am using the image path and when you do that you can see that image this image is converted into a vector or the matrix now you can see that um, this matrix of size is 32 cross 69 cross 3 means it's a three dimensional matrix right so again you have to resize the matrix so we can change the dimensions and for that we are changing the dimensions of that particular image uh, or the matrix we can say into 15 cross 15 and then we check 15 cross 15 into 3 right so we have resized this by using a, a resize function and after that you can check uh, res after resizing you can see uh, this these are the uh, the the matrix okay it's nothing but the array right now next step is we have to flatten that array so uh, i'm um, i'm explaining step by step how you can convert the images into the vectors so that you can process the data right now the we have to flatten this so we have to convert this all the dimensions into a single dimension so for that i'm using a flattened function and you can see that now this vector is flattened right so now this is one and you can check the safe now safe is 6, 675 right 
it's just like uh, what we can say it's a array okay single dimensional array right okay now the next part is yes uh, now uh, my data is in that folder and in that um, uh, in that folder this is the folder that is the image classification empty non em not non empty uh, there are two folders again the empty and non empty and i am here creating a two list one is the data and second one is the label so data means it's a vector form and label means uh, it's a zero or one so zero means empty one means uh, not empty means there is a the car in that parking slot right so yes uh, now uh, you can see that i am running a for loop here and using the index and the category and in the in the categories okay another uh, for loop is for file in os list dir uh, dri directory here i am providing the path and input directory is this and the category uh, the the category which we are using from the here right so so what happens it will uh, create a path of that particular image as well as its category right so here you can see um, if i print this image path so uh, this path will be uh, the printed then i am reading the uh, the path i am converting the, this um, the image into a vector then i resizing here in this next step and in the last step i am flatten this right means i am in first i am converting the image into a vector then uh, that vector is resized into uh, the 15 cross 15 cross 3 and then i am uh, flattened uh, i am um, again resizing means flattened it to a one dimensional right and here uh, i am appending this image data means flattened uh, array into a data list and labels into a label list right so when you run this uh, you can see i am printing a path of each and every image you can see that it will it will uh, read the images from these two folders empty and non empty right and already data uh, is stored here uh, in the data and the labels okay so let it run for uh, this um, after completion of this then we'll check how this data is look like so because i am storing the each and every vector flattened vector into a data uh, along with the the label of that okay so so i am i am accessing the first element of the list data so you can see this is the flattened array of the image one first image and what is the label of that image label is zero means there is a no uh, no no car means empty space is there okay this means empty space and this is the image uh, array or the matrix okay now i am converting that into a um, uh, that data into a np array so that we can uh, process that right you can see that this array is look like this okay and you can check the shape of this also here itself shape of this is okay now uh, the labels you can check the label 0 0 1 1 1 okay yes fine now the next thing is yes we have to split the data into a training and testing um, as usual uh, we do this uh, training and testing so for that i am importing a trend test split and i am using data and labels here i am using a 20 percent test data shuffle is true and stratify is labels okay so i am training the data right now um, uh, splitting the data into training and testing now next one is i have to build the classifier so the model so i am importing the svc uh, support vector classifier from the support vector machine I'm creating a model of it, object of it, we can say SVM model. Now model is ready. Now we have to train the model by fitting it into X train and X test, uh, Y train, right? Now model is ready for the predictions. Now I will do the predictions here. And um, for this, you can see SVM dot predict X test. 
okay these are the y predictions now next one is you have to evaluate the model so to evaluate the model um, uh, basically um, what you have to do so you have to import the accuracy matrix accuracy score is here then that score is y test is a y true and y predictions so you can check this score score is 100 percent so that is not possible because this model is a very simple model and the data which is used is very small so yes again uh, this this is good one uh, this model is working fine okay so we can check the cross of validation of this also by using uh, a cross validation so i'm importing from the model selector cross uh, this one the cross val score and cross val score i am providing the classifier data labels and number of folds and you can check here um, you will get a uh, five uh, accuracies okay now all the accuracies uh, is one and one is 99 so you can take a mean mean of the accuracies and that is the 99.93 percent so it's a good model actually uh, which um, which is uh, basically um, this model is working fine for this particular data right so you can check the uh, classification report also so you can see everything is one so this model is performing well here so uh, on top of that you can do the hyperparameter tuning by using this uh, grid search cv so it will take a lot of time you can check the uh, select uh, the best estimator with this uh, and uh, you can carry out the predictions here right and you can do the accuracy already accuracy is good so no need to find the uh, uh, find this uh, hyperparameters right so if you want you can check uh, for this or if you want to build some different model for the different data you have to use this right currently i am not running this because it will take a lot of time to run it will check the best parameter best on, best parameter uh, based on the grid search service. so it will check each and every combination so it will take certain time right so uh, yes uh, we have to go for the image classification so randomly i am providing a image this this image and uh, this image whether it is um, uh, 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 so uh, i need to um, check uh, how uh, your model is predicting this image so this is there is a car in the parking slot so space is not empty right the same image you can see here uh, cv is uh, not defined okay Hi, yeah uh, so you can uh, you can uh, display the image by using this also because um, here i have used the uh, computer vision uh, library here to display the image okay yes uh, so this is the image of the car or the space now what you have to do so you have to do the all the things the same way you have to use the model and predict that array but uh, before that you have to reshape it to one comma minus one right so you can see the initially i am reading the um, uh, this image and converting into vectors then resizing here then the flatten then convert into a numpy array and then i am resizing here and using to um, uh, fit um, using for the model to predict so assume model dot predict this array so if result is one then uh, the space is not empty means there is a car in the parking and uh, if uh, if uh, zero then this is there is no car in the parking means this is the empty parking slot okay so you can see that there is a car in the parking so it's not empty so there is a car in the parking so you can you can write a function uh, for that so uh, image classification predictions here prediction uh, function you can write here and uh, that function will um, do the same thing actually uh, you can see here 
it will read the image, convert into matrix, resize, then flatten, then convert into array, then it will predict, then uh, the, it will predict the uh, results. Also, it will show the uh, show the, uh, the the image, right? So I'm using the image to here. I'm selecting the image from the from this path and using the this function. Okay, now you can see there is a empty space is there. So space is empty. And next one, there is a, uh, uh, another image. You can see, yes, uh, the space is not empty means car is already there. And result is one. Here result is, it has not displayed the result, but uh, we have to print it something then it can it can it can uh, show the results right uh, okay okay so some modifications you have to do anyway zero result is zero okay uh, you can do this and this also okay here you can see the result is zero and all this so that's all from my side if you have any questions you can ask in the comment or if you like this you can hit the like button and subscribe my channel right so thank you for this uh, watching this video on the image classification using a support vector machine thank you thanks a lot